whatever you did, whatever technique you use, you did it. So whatever you did, if you can remember what you did to make it go, make it have, make it problems, then by all means do so. But it would be nice to, rather than waiting on the whole podcast to happen, it would be nice to know what night it was going to happen. But if they're going to do it tonight or next next week, you can make both weeks drop. And meanwhile, I've got to figure out when I'm when I'm getting this mask. But I don't think this mask thing is going to change anything because. The guy is stupid and he's going to continually do what he's doing. Yeah, we put the fear in God in this bastard one way or the other. It's just the fact of me... It's just the fact of me doing something that I know is not right. That she doesn't want her voice to be, you know... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I mean, what Angela is doing, she's fucking showing her hand. And Angela doesn't give a damn about Jamie about anything about Jamie at all and she's playing her voice so she's um, what's the word I'm looking for to describe what she's anyway she's uh, using her voice I can't think of the word I'm uh, any because it's been anyway but the bottom line is I don't want to do that but it seems like I'm gonna have to no because I said I wasn't going to do any more videos pertaining to that and I'm keeping my word Roger has a as a voice changer so I wear the mask we dub it up and vo Roger has a voice changer we could use to try to change the sound of the voice I don't know I just I just uh, I don't I'm a man of my word and I'm not using my voice I'm not use I don't I'm not going to give them any satisfaction as me they could say it's me all they want but as a mask around the face, so they really can't, they can't really say it's me. The word I'm looking for is extortion, to extort her voice. That's what, uh, that's what Angela's doing. She's extorting Jamie, and Jamie's deceased. She's, Jamie's deceased. She's extorting her and her voice. So I don't want to be doing the same thing. You see what I'm saying? I don't want to do that. So meanwhile, I'm door dashing all weekend. Made fifty, made fifty-two bucks thus far. Woohoo! Fifty-two bucks. Woohoo! Anyway, mode of care, which is the 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 thing that handles the the rides for the transport ser service, the mode of care, have uh, made a, a strict, strict stipulation that if if people are late, then they charge the hoster, which is the company, they charge the hoster a hundred dollars per late. That could be one second late versus one minute late. It doesn't matter. If we're not there, they charge a hundred dollars. They start. They they actually made the stipulation uh, recently. Then it's a strict, strict strict stipulation that I had no idea about. I was going to I was going to leave anyway again this for the second time, but I was trying to get another week out of it. Didn't didn't turn out that way. Yeah, it's a shit. It's a shitty way of doing business. They start charging the the people and blaming if the, if we were late so a lot of these or a lot of these people we would pick up we would pick them up in the rural area they want to you know leave early let gps do its magic follow gps and gps doesn't do its magic gps is very misleading but you can't tell him that and then they want to follow to their gps and then the situation where being late and then they start charging. They charge them a certain amount of money. So, yeah. That, um, I was going to quit anyway, but I was trying to get another week. It's a shit job is what it is. Hooking up wheelchairs. Listen to the listen to these people moan and yell and make sounds. You know, you try to do the right thing. And you, you will try to get them from point A to point B. The ones that would moan and yell and make sounds are the ones that are not all together. And the ones that are all together would bitch and complain about this, that, and the other. And you had a situation where you had to, you know, the ones that were in wheelchair, were the, that would walk, that were not able to walk fully. They were being guided by a walker. You had to walk them in. Some of them with a wheelchair, you have to roll them in to where they're going. 
Sometimes that's a fucking liability, but you know, we take it anyway. It's a shit job. There was one uh, person in Lynchburg pouring down rain. I literally had to pick the guy up in my arms and carry him because he couldn't stand up, but yet he didn't have a wheelchair. Yeah, it's a liability. We're just going to do the voice. We're not going to do the visual just yet. Roger is going to uh, Roger is going to code it, and I'm just going to read it off with the voice, the black cloud in the back. Antonio, Antonio, we've been watching you. You have a bad, bad disposition with a bad behavior. You are a bad person. I'm watching you, the skeletons in your closet. We're going to pull out them skeletons and we're going to make it right. Living in a tool shed behind your parents' house. Calling your brother a baby killer who served willingly in the military. And and being a drunk, drunken boozer and a loser. I told you last week I sent a message directly or indirectly to that bitch. And I use the uh, you dummy's number. I use you dummy's number, and I told that bitch to send him a message saying that I've got, I dropped the picture of meth and gave her name. And I said I know her identity. You tell him he best shut his mouth and stop doing the podcast. Or if not, I'm going to drop the identities. <laughs> oh God! So they so what they're doing? They're stalking Kevin's page and her page to come up with that. How pathetic! I even show that to me when you know damn well that's going to only piss me off. You just tell me about it. Don't show it to me because you know it's going to piss me the fuck off. You got to be really fucking desperate to come up with something like that. I mean, not even remotely fucking desperate, but really fucking desperate to to have a conclusion of that. How fucking pathetic. Yeah, and I, I try to be nice to Kevin when he brings her up. I mean, she is just repulsive. I mean, she's absolutely repulsive. I mean, I try to be nice, you know. And then who would this other woman guide? It just, it doesn't make any fucking, it doesn't make any fucking sense. So they, they're that fucking desperate. And they reach that far down the barrel. They reach that far down the barrel to come up with that shit. I mean, and, and, and I'm kind of pissed off at you because you know better to show me something like that. You can, you can tell me that, but to even to show it to me, you know damn well that, that that's not something that I would even fucking consider. That's like me, um, I, I, I can't, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, it, it's just, it's just. It just pisses me the fuck off when I see something like that. I mean, they're, they are so... They are fucking just pathetic with their thoughts. Pathetic. They're just pathetic into people. And that's like me... Uh, okay, that, that's, that's like Candace. I would want to go out with Candace, okay? Before I would want to go out... Before I would even associate with that. All right? I also find it really fucked up that all, they, the only thing they can do is come up with uh, pictures of my face to say that I've got my teeth are fucked up or come up with pictures of my ears. I mean, are you fucking kidding me? This is, again, this is what all they've got. They want to close up at my teeth and say that I've got bad teeth or something to that effect and get a close-up of my ear? I mean, are you fucking kidding me? Have you ever spoken to Martine? Have you ever spoken to Martine even on Discord? Directly? Whether it be in any, any, in any way or whether you were acting or any dialogue ever with Martine? I mean, I, when you were in the, or in the inner circle, okay, did, all right, let me, let me rephrase the question. Did Martine, Will, or Mark, well, we know Mark is, well, I, I don't know how, 
I've got to still take care of that on Monday, but find that information out. But do we know, or do you, have you ever spoken to Martine or Will or anybody in the inner circle, Mark? Well, I, I think you, you spoke to Mark, right? Uh, in what capacity? You were in the, they got you in the inner circle. So they must have said something to you. We like what you're doing and what you're saying when you were doing whatever you were doing. They said to you, perhaps maybe, hey, we, who are you? We like what you're doing. For you to be in the, in the inner circle, there had to be some contact. For you to be in the inner circle, there had to be some kind of contact with you. And I know you even said that you said things that were distasteful to get in there. Well, okay. Well, back in the day, well, it had to be recent because you just got in the inner circle within the past couple of months. So I, I'm not, you said back in the day. Well, back in the day, I mean, I'm not, I, I just, I want to understand this. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I want to understand what allegedly you did or said, and I'm not going to hold it. I mean, I know you did what you had to do to get in. But what exactly did you do to get in or say to get in? And who was the person you spoke to? Or what sock account was it that you spoke to? And you've only been in there for a few months. So you said back in the day, I'm not, don't understand. Because I want to know. Okay. I want to know because it's just a simple question. I just want to know. Wow. Wow. So I could open up a sock account and say some mean things about myself and they probably would let me in. That tells me that they aren't that they that they 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 think that they can just recruit people and not be on top of things. So their security so this their security is virtually nothing. All you have to do is say a few things, you know, and want to inquire. That's pretty pathetic. Okay, so yeah, but what what is the precursor? I mean, you must have said some horrible things. Again, well, <laughs> what'd you say? Just your curiosity. All right, but you said some things derogatory and inflammatory or, or, or negative about me, which is fine. I mean, I, I know the reason you were doing it. Um, to get in. That's what you're saying. Oh, they're taking K. Lazar, Kevin's name, and making it Ray Lazar. Kevin, uh, you goes by K. Lazar. Uh, he used that name when he was in Ireland on a radio station back in the day. So that's where that a name comes from, and they use Ray the Ray for the first name of Ray Eppelman account, my sock account that I use, so they combine the first name and the last name called Ray Lazar. You know what I believe? I believe that's Sean Brennan. I really do. I believe that that is Sean Brennan. And um, since he's not in there, but he's using that name. Listen, let me, let, let me tell you something. Have you ever heard the phrase, look at the right hand, not knowing what the left hand is doing? You should have known. You should know one. Look at the left hand, not looking at what the right hand is doing. It's called an illusion. And what they do is, and I believe this is very true, they'll take an account and they'll share that account to confuse you. And it's like they go under different names somebody that we don't even know is using Will Marklin his name. So Will Marklin, the person that I sued just to cover his ass, had a gopher pretending to be him using his name while he's using Mark Rebillet's name, using two people's names when we don't even know who that person's name is. You get what I'm going with this? It's an act of a criminal disturbed mind. What they're doing is not normal. Their thought pattern is an act of a criminal mind. Someone who's not fucking normal that has no that has some some issues in their brain. Like Antonio, our friend Antonio. 
he was fucking supposedly molested and disturbed and and f fucked with as a kid, and yet he is an adult now who is married to some dizzy bitch and has got a kid, and he's got he's on the internet trying to fuck with someone. He's he's very fucking disturbed sociopath because of what he encountered when he was a kid. You see where I'm going? And this is the problem. And it continues and it continues. And this is why you've had this is why the internet needs to be police for reasons like this. People that have are who are disturbed in the head shouldn't own a gun. Right? People that are disturbed like John Hinckley who shot President Reagan uh, and Mark Chapman who shot John Lennon. People like these are disturbed people that shouldn't have a gun. All right? So people of the same capacity shouldn't drive. People like Sean Brennan that doesn't drive. People like half these people that don't drive. Michael Saunders that doesn't drive. People like these shouldn't be driving because they're disturbed. And then people like the same accord shouldn't be on the fucking internet because they're fucking disturbed. This is where the problem lies. My mom left me when I was four years old, okay? But I don't fault her because she, my father and mother didn't get along. But it didn't make me, it didn't make me an insane person. All right?